Hi, fellow scientists. Good to see you today. Um, I'm reporting to you from outside the hall outside the science lab, and I know that probably seems like a really strange place for me to be, but actually, I can pretty much kind of lay back and do what I want to do out here. There's a lot of space, a lot of room, mostly quiet, and so what I'm feeling like doing today is talking about a pendulum. Can you think of some places where you have seen a pendulum? Do you even know what a pendulum is? Take a minute to think about what a pendulum is, what it does. I'm kind of giving you a clue with my hand or actually, I'm gonna kind of give you a clue with this. I want you to stare. I want you to stare at, at the bob and you are getting very sleepy. You are getting very sleepy. <laughs> anyway, a pendulum is something that goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It has three parts. It's got the bob, it's got a string, and it's got what's called the anchor. And the anchor is usually taped or, or fixed to something so that the uh, pendulum doesn't go flying, flying off. So what I'd like for you to do, I made my pendulum out of like three washers so that there's a little weight to the, um, to the bob and then I can knock over a lot of blocks if I want to, or you can use Legos or, or anything actually. It's not, uh, anything you can stack um, is what you want to use. And I just tied them together. And then you want to measure your string. And you've got to put the string, oh gosh, you have to be paying attention first. Don't just let the pendulum go. You might accidentally knock over the structure that you built. So um, the string cannot be laying down on, on, uh, on the floor like that, or the bob can't be laying down on the floor like that. It needs to be raised up at least up to you know an inch or so off the floor so that when you swing it, you, um, you, can, you will hit whatever structure is your target. And also, you certainly do not want it to be up here because that's way too high. So, figure out where you want, where you want the bob to be, tape it down, anchor it, and then you just go straight back and, oh, hey! I knocked them all over, yay for me. That's not, not a common occurrence. Um, so you just have to just straight back, let it go. Oh, and I hit, hit, hit the other ones even further. That's because I, I, don't, I don't have any tape up here to hold, uh, to anchor the bob. Three parts, bob, string, anchor, okay? And um, I hope you enjoy playing and working and using your pendulum because they're lots of fun. And as you walk around and go places or visit um, family, perhaps you can look and see if they've got anything in their house that has that motion because that's the motion of a pendulum back and forth back and forth okay i really enjoyed doing this lesson for you and gotta say bye bye have fun take care